It's Monday, May 17th, and the anticipated 17-year cicada seems to be finally out in force. They're expecting trillions of cicadas to engulf our countryside this summer. Each one of them has spent the last 17 years underground sucking nutrients from tree roots. I even read that they will protect themselves from the water underground by building little shelters out of their own shit. Anyway, the summer of their 17th year, when the soil reaches a certain temperature, the cicadas form little tunnels to the surface and crawl out. When they first escape from the ground, they're protected by a hard outer shell, and from that shell will emerge a milky white young adult cicada. Over the next several hours, the body of the young adult cicada will harden and darken and take on the appearance of the full-grown adult cicada that we're used to seeing. The sexual position of choice for the cicadas seems to be the linear tail-to-tail -tail interlocked wings position, although you can occasionally see some more creative postures. The females will find tree branches that are perhaps uh, pencil width um, in diameter and they pump the eggs into these uh, tree branches where eventually the tree branches will break off and the, uh, the eggs which have turned into small nymphs at that point will be scattered on the ground and then those nymphs will bury them, dig themselves underground and start sucking on tree roots which they will do for the next 17 years. Perhaps as interesting as the cicadas themselves is the uh, fungal parasite that feeds on them. The parasite will infect the cicadas and eventually cause the cicadas abdomen to break off and when that happens um, millions of spores which are in the abdomen are then released into the environment where they will eventually uh, infect the next generation of cicadas. In addition to fungal parasites, there are a slew of other natural predators that feed on the cicadas. And I spoke with some of these predators earlier this month. These are the females over here. You can tell because it's kind of a, a, a slit in their rear end, you know? Uh, you should have been there when we the the winged them and, and de-legged them. You de-winged and de-legged already. Not on the front porch, yeah. It was I'm pretty sorry, neat. I missed they that. kind of snowflake down, you know? Uh -huh. All the wings. I mean, the wings are pretty intricate. And here are the males. They're more of the bumblebee persuasion, apparently. And they don't have any of that, uh, any of that genitalia I discussed earlier. Yeah, those look pretty tasty. Yeah, apparently the females are tastier than the males. Huh. If you ask me, that's pretty symbolic, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. It says dip them in beaten egg, roll them in seasoned flour, and then gently saute them until they are golden brown. They stink. Oh, that's Mark, sorry. That's my cologne. I'm wearing cicada cologne. Egg and Worcestershire? Yeah, we're gonna dip it in there first. You dip them in there. Get them a little moist, so that way it'll pick up the flour. And then we have some seasoning. I don't want to really reveal. I love when they first hit. There's nothing like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing like a cicada I wish first this hitting captured the smell of them cooking. 17 years from now, alright? Come on, first time in 17 years. They look really good, the length of bread and everything. Which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones? Oh, they're all nobody good. had them. They're all good. Malta vinegar. Allegra. Yeah. Cicada. Get a little, get a little something to dip them in. The first batch that we made. These are women or the, the men? Uh, I think these are the women. So they're supposed to be the good ones. They're supposed to be the good ones. Oh, I gotta see someone else eat one first. Was that the first one? How was it? I know, I got you. Mark was easy target. It's pretty good. How is that? Oh my god. Yeah, it's not, not bad. bad. <laughs> Good? Oh, this is, a, this is, this is upsetting me. <laughs> it's disappointing. Yeah, the show. What do you think? It's not it's bad. Like fried. Do it. Do it. Goodness. Should I try it? It tastes like it fried here. goodness. Yeah, exactly. Apparently, <laughs> they said that most people are allergic to soy products or peanuts. 
Um, it's pretty we'll much a peanut. Have, uh, a same al allergic a reaction warmer. to these. <laughs> Katie, you rethinking your vegetarianism? Yeah, yeah. You gonna try one? No. Yeah. No. 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 Katie's a vegetarian. She can't eat cicadas. No bugs. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your doom. Is that it's a hit. It's a hit. I, 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 I think I'm going to skip. Darcy had the first one. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> you can tell that they're not going to be good in two hours. No, yeah. They, they don't keep. That, they got that kind of flavor that says... Wait, is that how they are in your chest? Like, 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 do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. 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 Do it's not that they're crunchy, it's just that they don't... Uh, they don't break apart like yeah, everything else. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. the meat out. Yeah. Get a little the All-American <laughs> Cicada Fricassee. Yeah. Christian, you got... You got like this. Alright, thanks. You got a little some, cicada some stuff here. Yeah, you got a leg hanging out. You got a little leg hanging out. Just six weeks after the cicadas first appeared, their baking corpses provide a final wave of nutrients to the ground that now feeds their children. What sort of environment will they find when they return here in 2021? Whatever this place looks like, I hope it's a friendly place for them to live. Over 100 delicious recipes can be found in his new book, Tasty Little Bastards, Cicada Cooking with Josh Bakker, available from Dingle Press. Stop bugging me, you're driving me crazy with your creepy ways. Creepy eyes and creepy legs, you just really gross me out. That funky way that you decay Leaves a smell, there is no doubt Stop bugging me, you're driving me crazy With 